Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is a speed paint for a spread in my sketchbook. I think I mentioned a couple of videos back that I'm on a mission to finish this sketchbook because there's only a few pages left now. I've been filling in the final pages over the last couple of weeks and now I'm finished. I've split this video into two parts so you'll see a little sneak peek at the end for next week's video as well, but I've split it into two shorter videos. I always like having videos like this on in the background while I paint or do something creative, so let me know down in the comments if you're making anything while you're listening. I'm not sure about the end result of this spread actually, so it would be good to hear what you think, but it was nice to play with different mediums. I drew this lady in a cute summer dress in coloured pencil. I was originally going to use markers, but I definitely need more practice. I thought they were a bit harsh and I'm not used to making such bold marks so I only did the hat and in the end and then I just went back with pencil. This sketchbook didn't like the markers much either, um, it bled through to the other side, but I think it's going to be quite difficult to find a sketchbook that doesn't do that. This is a Leuchtturm 1917 sketchbook uh, which I started way back in 2017. It takes me ages to get through a sketchbook. Um, I know some people finish them really quickly, but I just grab it whenever and add it to it whenever I'm feeling like it. I'll do a full flip through of the whole thing soon. I really like the summery vibes of this lady, so I went around the edge using acrylic paint in a nice fresh pale yellow colour. And then I added on this little vase of flowers in the corner using Neocolor crayons, um, and these are the Neocolor 2 pastels which are water soluble, so I just went in with a paintbrush to uh, soften the edges. So I'm just adding in the flowers here uh, using grey, green and blue Neocolor pastels. Um, and I had quite a lot of space left around the edge of the page, so I wasn't sure what to do. Um, so I left it a few days and then just came back to finish the spread another time. So it's changed position a bit, um, but I decided to use some ink. And I'm using blue Windsor & Newton drawing ink. And the paper didn't hold this so well either, it bled quite a bit, which is a shame, but it's, it doesn't come out too bad. I quite like the drawings I did here of the florals, um, but as a whole spread I don't think it works that well, I'm not too keen. I think it's just because it's quite a contrast and the blue's kind of different. I'm referencing the flowers from a book called Wildflowers of Great Britain and in a minute the insects are from a book which I talk a bit more about in a video which I'll link up in the cards in the corner of the screen where I talk about references and the reference books that I use. In last week's vlog I talked about the new business launch, so I thought I'd just mention it here quickly because I launched it yesterday, which was Saturday the 13th of February. I launched my brand new website and I'm really proud of it, so I'll put a link in my bio if you'd like to check it out. I'm marketing myself now as a small business content creator, so I'll be taking on small business clients who need things like social media graphics, blog posts, Etsy listings and that sort of thing. Um, I already have a few clients and projects lined up for March, so that's really exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in and combining my love of small business with graphic design. Uh, so I have an Etsy shop, which I'm still going to continue with, but I'm going to focus more on marketing this new part of my business, which is going to be service-based, rather than just products. So I won't be coming out with any new stuff in my Etsy shop. But it will still be there and I'll still be packing orders and taking a long buy. Um, but Etsy works really well for me in that I don't really have to push it. Um, a lot of my customers find me organically on there. So I'll just be focusing more on the service space and providing graphic content and blog posts and stuff to small business owners who don't have time. And I love doing that sort of thing so it works really well for me. So I'm just adding in a butterfly here, which I'm referencing there. Um, I did mess up a little bit on the wings. Uh, the left hand wings are definitely way too small. Um, and I wasn't sure how well the ink would work on the paint, but actually it worked quite well and it didn't smudge or anything. It settled quite nicely on top of that. 
So I'm just adding in a bit of flowers and just working way, my way around the shapes uh, using different flowers and just trying to make it feel a bit more organic in the, in the way that it fills those negative spaces. So to tie it in with the yellow, the big block of yellow which is like the main focal point of the page, I decided to add in some circles of yellow behind the drawings as well, uh, which I just used coloured pencil for. Um, I don't think it worked that well tying it all together, but I do like how it looks so I could definitely do something like that in the future. I like the way that it's just these pops of colour behind the outlines of the blue ink. And I'm just using my Prismacolor pencils to do that. They're really soft coloured pencils and I really like the texture that they give. And I'm just going to continue by adding in some more insects on the top left where it was blank. And then the last thing I do on this page is add in some little annotations of the flowers and the insects. So I just do little pointers uh, using the references from the book. And then I call it done. There's quite a lot going on behind the scenes at the moment. Like I know I've just done my launch but there's other stuff so I'm going to announce that soon. Here's a little peek at the next two pages of the sketchbook that I mentioned earlier um, and that will be next week's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, I'll see you next week for the second part. See you later!